Hello YouTube and Ninja Movie fans, Shokosugi fans and friends. I uh, thought I'd better do a video. Been very busy, but um, I'd like to do a video to give thanks and shout out to some friends as well. And also to share with you some of my collection because I love to see other people's collections. So you can't just take, you got to give. Um, so anyway, recently my good mate John at That Ninja Show channel, if you haven't um, seen it, go and check it out, That Ninja Show. He's a great guy who has a, a great knowledge of Shokosugi movies and you know all the 80s ninja items and all that sort of stuff that some of us grew up with. He recently did a competition and I was really, really lucky to win first pl first prize um and anyway there it was all shokosugi and ninja items that um i absolutely appreciate and will cherish and um so i'll get into that first so in the prize we had starting off with ninja hood and mask from Asian World of Martial Arts. So those of you who grew up in the 80s with um, all the Kusugi movies would have bought the magazines like Inside Kung Fu, um, Ninja, all those sort of magazines, Black Belt, Blitz, all that sort of thing. And they would know the, um, the ads like Dolan Sports and also... AWMA, Asian World of Martial Arts. And that's where these, the mask and hood is from, as you can see. Awesome. Always wanted that as a kid. Thank you so much for that, John. And something else that's very special to me is the Ninja 3 movie program. It's in Japanese, but that's awesome. And a signed photo from the man himself, Shokusugi Sensei. Beautiful. I'm going to cherish that. And also, he um, had a sword that was this one here that I used to always want in the 80s that uh, he was very gracious to let me have. And I'll show you that in a moment. And always wanted these posters. I now have them. On the wall at my work and um, so and he recommended this book here to shokusugi book in spanish can't read spanish but it is a great one for the collection beautiful photos um, so what else we got i recently got this ninja magazine number two i have number three and four as well and a good friend since I was a little kid. Mick, if you're watching, thank you so much for that, brother. Number 18. Uh, anyway, so this sword here that I got off John. Uh, that's it there, the first one, the closest one to us. And, oh, before I forget, this shirt also was in the prize. I love it. If it's okay, if it's pretty good. Thank you, brother. I'm so, so appreciative of all this. Anyway, camera too much. So this sword over here is the one from John. It needed a little bit of um, TLC, which I have given it. It's a little bit rattly in the sayer. has a breathing tube at the end. And this was very loose. I've tightened it up with a couple of extra sepa and a new Makugi pin. Fairly sharp, stainless steel blade. So it's been rewrapped to be more like the Shokusugi movie swords. Which brings me to this one right here. This one is a screen used Shokusugi Ninjato. Not sharp. It's just for using on the movies. So they would have 
approximately five swords that he would use in each movie. Mostly stunt swords, which were aluminium blade with no hum on. And anyway, this one was more for just for close-ups and all that sort of thing. So they'd have a, a few of each. And then we have the two modern replicas. These were just from eBay I got over the years. They're T10 sharp steel. I've done videos of all these swords except for the first one I showed you. So that's got a nice hum on, genuine hum on. It's fairly sharp. It's got good T10 tool steel. So is this one here. I had this one and the handle's a bit long and, and also a bit thin. The say is a bit too long, in my opinion. So I got another one. And um, I have another one in the near future that I'll be doing a video on. But um, I won't say too much about that just yet. So anyway, um, I won't talk too much about this topic, but ninja to swords were not a real part of history. So ninja would have used, this is my opinion, take it or leave it. They would have used probably wakazashi or katana. Um, the straight blade with the square guard, I believe, was just used for movies. So if you've got um, 10 ninja and they all need a sword to quickly produce some suba, you just cut them out square. Very easy. Straight blades, don't have to quench it and curve it and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, it makes sense that they could um, sell the idea because, you know, you can use it as a step and different things and the point on the end of the sayer you can use it for digging a hole for a breathing tube all that stuff but it doesn't bother me too much it did when i first researched and found out that um they weren't real because i loved it so much as a kid but you know they're they're still part of my childhood and they take a, a, a important part in my collection just because of that factor. Without watching Kasugi movies and falling in love with ninja swords, I wouldn't have learnt um, the martial arts I've learnt, including EA with the sword and, um, you know, buying a few Nihonto over the years. Um, I don't have many, I've only got a couple, but, um, you know, it's all close to my heart and it's thanks to this man here, Shokusugi. Okay, so I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but thank you so much, John. For those of you who haven't seen that ninja show, get over there, check it out, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, What else? I wanted to also thank Mick, which I've done, the magazine. Um, yeah, just a bit of a shout out to friends since I've been on the internet, which has only been not too many years. Um, you know, it's a great tool for networking. You know, you can love or hate the internet. It's probably overall uh, no good for the world, but we've got it and you might as well use it for positive, like networking with other good people, uh, you know, buying, selling, whatever, and learning. So anyway, I've met some really cool people over the years, have some very dear friends um, that are into all the stuff that I'm into, different things like whether it's boxing, martial arts, or collecting, or all that sort of thing. So it's really cool to be able to meet like-minded people. And so some of the people that I've met have become good friends. So I don't like saying last names on the internet without the person knowing. So if you're watching, Stuart, thanks, mate. You've been a, a good friend for the time that I've known you. And um, also James in the U.S., it's good to meet you, Frank, and of course, Sean. Um, Sean, you are amazing with um, sharing the items that you have to do with Kusugi and all that sort of thing. I uh, appreciate it. And um, anyway, that's about it. I'm going to have to wrap it up. I'll be doing another one soon on the topic. John, thank you, thank you, thank you and keep up the great work with your channel.
and um, yeah, one day I might have to get off my butt and organise a competition as well. It'll be probably next year if I do. Very busy at the moment with family and things. So anyway, have a great weekend and um, long live Shokosugi.